Tennessee Smokies are the Chicago Cubs AA affiliate. This is The Process. The Smokies' opening day roster included 17 players who had seen time with the Smokies in the past. The pitching staff started with 11 of 13 returning from 2012. To bring home a Southern League title and develop the winning mentality needed in Chicago, veteran manager Buddy Bailey will rely on those veteran arms. Well, we've got a lot of experience and we've got some guys that obviously the organization feels that the, uh, there's areas of the game that they need to improve. But a lot of times experience is good to have and as time goes on, hopefully that becomes a bigger plus for us throughout the season. Bailey has won over 1,600 games as a minor league manager and has discovered unprecedented success in the Venezuelan Winter League. He has managed the Tigres de Aragua to six championships since 2011, plus the 2009 Caribbean World Series. To play buddy ball, players are expected to know and practice the fundamentals of the game. There is a high standard of personal conduct and a constant focus on respecting the process, teammates, and the game of baseball. One player that has thrived under this structure is left-handed pitcher Eric Jokic. The former Northwestern Wildcat has become the team's most reliable starter. One, he's a lefty, which is, seems to always be an advantage. Number two, he's probably the best student of the game that we have here. He's always watching film, asking questions, uh, really does his homework to prepare for his next outing as far as trying to learn as much about the opposing hitters as he possibly can if he doesn't know them. And obviously, when you have a high aptitude like his, you remember when you faced him in the past, whether it be at the end of here, last year, or maybe somewhere in his past. But And he works hard not only on the physical part of his game, but the mental part. And that's so critical, which a lot of players don't think is important. But to get really good from here to the big leagues and sustain a career, you have to have aptitude and have the willingness to do the preparation mentally. And one area that, and he's got a great change up. Uh, fastball has, it's not overpowering with velocity, but it's sneaky quick because of his ability to use his change up. He's not afraid to throw inside, which helps set up the change up, which sets up the fastball. And his curveball is kind of loopy at times, but for some reason guys miss it. But that's one pitch in an area that he's going to have to improve if he's going to be able to pitch in the big leagues and sustain a long career there. Jokish has worked closely with Bailey's pitching coach, Jeff Facero. Jokish was 7-2 and two with a 291 earn run average for Tennessee last year. He relies on fastball command and a sneaky good changeup. Yeah, I've always been uh, like a fastball changeup pitcher. And uh, that third pitch has always been more so-so than a good pitch for me. So I, I really try to work in the offseason on getting my curveball be a good pitch and uh, again you know baseball is all about pitching is all about getting ahead in the, in the, uh, in the count throwing strikes down in the zone so it, if I can improve on that you know that always you know helps you for the future. The most prolific returners on the Smokies roster are Justin Bohr and Jay Hoon Ha. Bohr was an offensive force around the Southern League last year. He batted 283 with 36 doubles, 17 home runs, and 110 RBIs. The big first baseman was not extended an invite to Major League Baseball spring camp, which was a surprise to some. He was also sent back to repeat double-A after an all-star season, which saw him named to both the mid-season and post-season rosters. If he can shore up his defense and he continues to put up the numbers and hit the way that he has all the way through his minor league career, right now he's one of the guys that could possibly jump and hit to the big legs as long as he keeps his head on straight. And I know his work ethic is good because I've been with him long enough to know and he pays the price of the offseason going out to Arizona. And hope I really, I'm really pulling for him because he's a good team guy too. So you got to work on everything. Um, there's always someone behind you trying to take your spot. So for me, i got to work on a little bit of everything. You know, some defense, some hitting, you know, fundamentals. You can always work and get better. There's a fly ball. Long run. Right center field. Back there high. Dives for the ball. Did he catch it on the alley? He's holding his glove in the air. Did he make the play? Unbelievable. Ha is starting his third season with the Smokies. The 22-year-old from South Korea uses a flashy blend of speed, quickness, and risk to electrify fans. Although most major baseball publications fail to list Ha as a prospect, his performance dictates that classification.
mostly used in the middle of the Smokies lineup. Ha batted 283 in 61 games in 2011. He returned to hit 273 in a full season with 28 doubles and six home runs last year. You know, Ha is one of the best defensive players I think I've ever managed. He's an exciting player. This big thing is going to, to me, defensively, he probably is solid now. He's just going to have to get to the strike zone better and be able to increase his hitting area. When he hits the ball that's in his spot, he can hit it with anybody in baseball. But he's going to have to make a few adjustments with Desi here where his hitting zone gets a little bit bigger and at the same time a little bit more disciplined and patient at the play. The Cubs AA affiliate will try to win by combining the leadership of Buddy Bailey, the craftiness of Eric Yokish, the power of Justin Bohr, and the energy of Jay Hoon Ha. The process is the journey of the 2013 Tennessee Smokies. I'm Mick Gillespie for the Smokies Radio Network.